In this video, we're going to show you how you can use North 52's formula manager to create a formula and a schedule to send out happy birthday emails to contacts in your CRM system. So this is a, a, a common uh, type of problem where um, in a lot of blogs and articles, you'll see they'll use recurring workflows um, to send out the emails. One of the downsides of this is that if you have a million contacts in your CRM system, that's a million recurring workflows, so it can be a real drain on performance. So we'd like to show you a, a very easy and proficient way um, to to do this type of problem. And also this applies to items like, you know, invoices, orders, opportunities, or any custom entities where you want to do, you know, things like a follow-up every month or every quarter or every day to check something, the same design pattern can be applied. So first of all, I'd just like to show you the work, uh, the workflow we have. So this is a, a workflow, just, it's just sending the happy birthday email. So we're just using normal out of the box dynamic CRM. It's an on-demand workflow set up in the contact entity. And the, it has two steps. The first step is it sends the email to the contact. And the next step is it, um, increments the next birthday field so by by 12 months so that next birthday field it's a custom field where a date field we're after putting on just to store um when the next birthday is going to be sent and we just used your standard out of the box uh, crm workflow designer 12 months after the next birthday just to increment by 12 so obviously in one year's time the email will go out um for that particular um day as well the next part i'd just like to show you is we've set up a formula this is just saving a little bit of time by showing it to you this way. So we've set up a formula on the contact entity. Whenever a contact is created or updated, we're going to run this calculation here and put the value into the next birthday field. So the formula basically says if, if the birthday contains data, then execute this calculation. And this just works out, you know, when is the actual next uh, birth date. So just to show you how that works and to get some sample data, I'm just going to create a new contact in the system. I'm just going to give it a name, Bill Gates. Give him an email address, bill.gates at nord52.com. And then I'm going to give him a birth date. I'm going to give him a date of 10, 10, um, something like 1962 maybe. And I'm going to hit save. And today is the 10th of October. So that therefore, I'm just making sure that the email is going to go out today in this in this demo. So you can see it's after calculating the next birth date is 10-10-2012. So that's all fine. We've got our data set up. Now, this is the main part that I want to show you in this video is setting up the schedule. So we can set up schedule by creating a new schedule. And we're going to, you could define this to run it you know, every day at 2 a.m. or in the nighttime or every day at uh, 2 p.m. in the afternoon, depending on your scenario. So we just give it a schedule a name. Send birthday email. The frequency we set to daily, we want to run it once a day. The schedule type is workflow because we want to execute a workflow. And then we just pick out the workflow we want to run. And here you can see the email I showed you earlier, send happy birthday email. The start date time, so this is when you would set to whenever you wanted to run daily. So you could set that to 2 p.m. in the afternoon. I'm just going to leave it at the default time right now, 21.42. Finally, the next piece is we need to define the advanced find query or the fetch XML in reality that we want to run every every day at, um, at 21.42 or whenever we define the schedule to run. So we want to run that on the contacts entity. We want to say where the next birth date equals today. Next birthday, today, and we do results. We just get that one record, that Bill Gates records. But you can imagine that this schedule, let me just hit save. So this schedule is going to run on a daily basis at whatever time, running that fetch XML, that, that advanced find query. So it'll only find a handful of records. So instead of that million records all, all there with their own workflow, It'll just really zone in and just find maybe those 10 or 15 records or 100 records that is inside in your contact entity and execute this workflow send happy birthday email so you hopefully you can see there the design pattern that i'm really showing you as well 
So let's start the schedule. So you just click the start button here. It'll just pop up a dialog box and it's actually just kicking off a um, the N52 schedule manager workflow behind this behind the scenes, which is going to do all the heavy lifting for us. So if I just go into workflow, you can see there it's waiting for resources. It's in progress. So the workflow is running. So you can see there, excellent, it's succeeded. So now that one's finished and it should actually, yep, yeah, so you can see perfect. It's putting in, it's starting up the, the workflow then for, for tomorrow's um, batch of emails that needs to be sent out. So that's all there and waiting and that's all good. We just hit refresh on the overall schedule. Bring back the results. And you can see there, yep, yeah, the, the last runtime 2144. So everything looks good from that perspective. So now if we go back to the Bill Gates record and we just refresh that record. And if we scroll down, we can see, look, the next birthday, sorry, the next birthday has been incremented to 2013. So we won't send another email to Bill Gates until the night or the, the day of the 10 10 2013 and if we look in closed activities you can see there's a, a an email open it up and you can see there's the happy birthday email from john grace to bill gates so hopefully there you can see how easy it is with using a combination of uh, formulas and schedules that you can create um, really um, solve problems really, really easily um, using Dynamics CRM and North 52's Formula Manager.